सो हेलो दोस्तों वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड वेलकम ऑन अनदर वीडियो ऑफ दिस सीरीज सो इन दिस वीडियो विल सी हाउ टू इनेबल एस एस एच ऑन ए एस ए फायर वॉल इफ यू डोंट नो हाउ टू इनेबल टैलनेट यू कैन गो थ्रू दैट वीडियो यू विल गेट द ग्रेट आइडिया टू इनेबल टैलनेट ऑन ए एस ए फायर वॉल सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग द टाइम लेट्स स्टार्ट अवर वीडियो दिस इज अवर डी एम जेड नेटवर्क दिस इज इन साइड नेटवर्क एंड दिस इज आउट साइड नेटवर्क आई पी एड्रेसेज आर ऑलरेडी कॉन्फिगर्ड ऑन दिस devices if you don't know how to configure ip addresses no issue you can check my description box i have already made the separate video to assign the ip address on asa firewall with zones so this is inside zone this is outside zone and this is dmz zone and now we will configure ssh on this firewall so we are on our firewall terminal here you can see i have already assigned the ip address show ip address so here you can see on ethernet 0 by 0 inside network and ip address is 2.10 3.10 on dmz network and 4.10 on outside network so this is the ip address that is the reachable to r2 if i will try to ping the r2 so r2 ip address is 2.2192.168 2.2 you can see i am able to reach i am able to ping that interface and if i want to ping dmz network so 192.168.3.3 this is also re reachable if i'll ping r4 that means 4.4 and it is also reachable so without wasting the time let's start the configuration so for the ssh as you know ssh is the secure shell and ssh we can say the <coughs> this is the method to take the cli access of any networking devices and ssh is the more secure shell protocol uh, then telnet so we use always in our environment ssh only we don't use telnet if you are accessing devices locally you can take the locally access by telnet but if you are accessing devices through the public network you need to enable ssh and this is very important so for the ssh first of all you have to configure username and password on your firewall so here i am typing the username my name is aftab and password is C C I E. Just enter. Now you have to enable the crypto key. So crypto key generate R S A module one zero two four. I am enabling one zero two four. This is the module of R S A. R S A is the method to secure or we can say the encrypt your traffic. Whatever username and password you are accessing, that will be uh, encrypted by module 1024 rsa and enter so here you can see i have already uh, made this rule so it is showing me or sometime asa has already configured rsa so it is showing you have uh, rsa pair already defined name default rsa so default rsa already configured on every asa firewall so if you want to replace it just uh, type yes here yes i want to replace because i want to use this crypto key that i am showing you in this video now you have to enable ssh so just type ssh and now you have to type the source ip address 192.168.2.2 so so the source ip address is our r2's ip address so i can give the 2.2 or i can give complete network 255.255.255.0/24 network so <clears throat> this is Uh, this defines that complete ip address from this subnet can access our firewall from inside okay just press the enter and now we will try to get the access from r2 so we are on r2 now ssh hyphen l and name of the user username is aftab 192.168.2.10.2.10 is firewalls inside interface ip address just press enter and if the ssh configuration is correct then only you can then only you will get the access of asa firewall so now it is showing passwords option it means our configuration is correct so we have to type the correct password here c c i e and enter now you can see here we have got the access of asa firewall and here it will show you little bit slow because this is uh, <clears throat> ssh access device so 
now you are on the asa firewall from r2 show ip address and you can see or you can configure your device from here let's try from r3 from dmz network are we able to access or not enable ssh hyphen l and username aftab 192.168.3.0 sorry 3.10 dmz network and press enter so we have not configured ssh on uh, a firewall on gigabit 0 by 1 interface that is connected with dmz network so we will not be able to access here and again i'll show you the configuration i'll configure for dmz network and we will try again on this router on r3 so this will give you the result just wait for a while so now you can see that we are not able to get the access from r3 so just go on asa firewall and configure again ssh 192.168.3.0 network subnet mask is slash 24 and type here dmz and enter again we will try from r3 now we have enabled the ssh on asa for r3 so we will try to access again ssh hyphen l username is aftab ip is 192.163.10 and try again if the configuration was done then only we will get the access of asa firewall here and this should show and now you can see here uh, it is asking for the password ccie and from r3 also i am able to get the access and password is nothing on asa now so we got the access from r3 and r2 as well okay so now we will see how we can check the ssh connections so here you have to type the command to check sss sessions show ssh sessions and this will show you two sessions one is from r2 and second one is from r3 and if you want to kill the session from asa so you can kill with the help of this command ssh disconnect and you have to type this SID number. If you will type 0, that means R3 will be disconnect. So come on R3 and see here. Connection to 3.10 closed by foreign host means ASA has closed the session. And on R2 still session is there. Just come on ASA and type again 1 and press enter. Here now you can see R2 also disconnected now. So this was the configuration that I wanted to show you in this video. If you like the video, subscribe my channel, share the video with your friends and hit the like button.